hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are doing a q and a some of you guys have you know wanted to find out how my course is going i haven't really spoken much about it since i moved to uni okay so um my girl elizabeth is just going to ask me a few questions five questions um and then we're just going to you know obviously double jabble not too long let's get into it what are you studying at brighton university so i am studying podiatry it's a msc course masters but it's a pre-reg uh, masters so that means that obviously you don't have any form of experience to do with that course but it's like an additional um degree so that's why i said masters pre-reg course hopefully that makes sense Question two, what is your favorite topic on your course and why? Um, I would say I do enjoy clinical sciences. Um, that's the first year actually. So the masters is a two year masters. It's a two year pre-reg masters. And I actually really like clinical science. That's to do with more, you know, case studies, um, talking about more the illnesses, um, medications, and all those things so that's i do enjoy that i think i only really like it because i do really well at it <laughs> so um might be a bit biased yeah. but yeah there's yeah clinical science what are the pros and cons of living in eastbourne pros i would say the pros of living in eastbourne would be the fact that it's very very quiet it's full of old people but it's very very quiet um also if you enjoy walking the beach is like 10 minutes well then again it depends on where you live but where i live is like 10 minutes walk from the beach so it's really really lovely um you can do like a little trek to beachy head which is a four hour walk very very good i would definitely recommend it um and um that's about it really cons um, cons i'll say there isn't much to do then again i could blame it on covid um but um, there isn't much to do to be honest there's one or two clubs but that's about it in terms of where to go out to eat we have nando's but that's about it um there's some chinese shops it's quite basic but yeah cool so how would you describe the cost of living at brighton university um well so my campus is based in eastbourne um, which is like 30 minutes away from brighton on the train um cost of living um okay so rent wise compared to london i'll say it's very very cheap so where i'm staying is um it's a six bedroom shared accommodation but you have everyone has their own bathroom and toilet the only thing that is shared is the kitchen and i only pay 420 pounds a month which is really really good because um compared to other places in the area that is really good um i think when i look when i was looking at houses or rooms should i say um some people were charging 600 and something pounds a month that is you know not even on suite so yeah i got a really good deal and the house is pretty cool it's clean as well we have cleaners coming in <laughs> this sounds like i'm advertising the house but okay um, <laughs> um it's great um because the food wise is okay it's not too different from london to be honest with you um but yeah what advice would you give someone looking to study your course advice i would give to someone looking to study um the msc pre-reg podiatry course would be to really 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 know your ish i know that obviously if you don't have a science background it's completely alien to you but thank god for you know youtube nowadays um 21st century we have youtube the internet you can literally google anatomy of the foot know your anatomy very very well um because i feel like once you know your anatomy it makes things a little bit easier um also if you can have some ideas of different um conditions that can you know affect the foot that would really really be good for you just basically prepare yourself as much as possible because um even though i did some reading before starting 
trust me it's not enough just make sure that your your anatomy make sure that it's up there if, especially if you don't have a scientific background make sure that you know a lot at least 80 percent um so that's probably the most important advice i can give anyone that's looking to start the course is just know your anatomy because it will really really help you and also doing a few researches about you know biomechanics gait cycle all those things but most importantly your anatomy and you'll be fine so that is it thanks for watching um if you have any more questions just don't forget to comment down below and i will give you the answers you need don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video because it really really helps me out and watch out for the next video.